Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. During a roundtable with elected officials and law enforcement yesterday, President Trump took a question about the gang MS-13. As he has before, the president expressed his thoughts on the subject bluntly. We're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. Well, if anything, that's a mild description. Dogs are animals, and a lot of them sleep on the bed. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near MS-13. They traffic in drugs, weapons, and human beings, young girls. Unlike animals, they kill for fun, often with machetes. They terrorize the poor and the vulnerable. They've made El Salvador the most dangerous country in the world. There is literally no defending them, and yet the left is defending them. Here's how the New York Times described what the president said, quote, Trump lashed out at undocumented immigrants during a White House meeting, calling those trying to breach the country's borders animals. Over at Jeff Bezos's vanity publication, The Washington Post, there was this, quote, Trump evokes an ugly history of dehumanization. So the president is a Nazi for criticizing a violent street gang. Newspapers haven't been this yellow since they started the Spanish-American War. For her part, over at the House, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi raced to the nearest microphone to defend the dignity of MS-13. Watch this. We're all God's children. There's a spark of divinity in every person on Earth. And so when the President of the United States says about undocumented immigrants, these aren't people, these are animals, you have to wonder, does he not believe in the spark of divinity, the dignity and worth of every person? Every day that you think you've seen it all, along comes another manifestation of why their policies are so inhumane. Well, that's not just dishonest, though obviously it is. It's lunatic. Why would the left be defending the country's most violent street gang? Trump has made them irrational. That's part of it. But the left also senses a threat to its most basic worldview. MS-13 is a living reminder that the left's position on immigration is fundamentally a lie. The media tell you every day that every immigrant, legal or not, is a future brain surgeon or tech company founder. Therefore, immigration controls are unnecessary. If they admit that MS-13 is actually bad and must be stopped, they'd have to also admit that when some countries send their people here, they aren't sending their best. A lot of immigrants are great, for sure. Some of them are rapists, though. Some join MS-13. That's just true. They're not all the same because people aren't all the same. That's the point of our immigration law. They're not the same. We should sort the good from the bad. But that's too much for the left. It suggests that this might be a real country whose actual citizens have interests that are worth protecting. Yesterday on Twitter, the governor of California, Jerry Brown, went after the president's views on immigration, and he ended his tweet this way, quote, we, the citizens of the fifth largest economy in the world, are not impressed. Citizens of the economy, that says it all. To the modern left, you're not an American with a culture and a history and a collective identity. You're a citizen of the economy, a cog in the machine of global capitalism. To Jerry Brown and Nancy Pelosi and their many donors, America is just another private equity scheme. Their pledge is different from yours. And to the economy for which it stands, one economy indivisible with open borders and low wages for all. That's the future they promise. Don't worry, it'll sound better in Spanish.